Hi everyone. Um, hope this video comes to you. Um, I hope you're all doing well and hope your families are all doing well and are safe and healthy. Um, so really a question that came up a lot on my calls the past couple of weeks have been questions on disposable venues and if that's the case. Um, and really, I don't think there's anything out there that necessarily says you have to do this, but it's just another um, preventative step you guys can take to help keep your customers safe, keep your employees safe. Um, and so really, um, when we talk about, you know, the digital age and where we're at, um, the best way to do this and the, and the easiest way to do this is by using what's called a QR code menu. Um, so today, I'm just going to show you how to do that. Um, and I'm also going to show you how to use a QR code menu with your uh, Facebook menu. Um, you don't necessarily have to do that with Facebook menus, but we'll talk about that later. Um, so really, um, today's topics are what is a QR code and, and, and why do you need one? How to set that QR code up with your Facebook menu? Um, and uh, uh, basically how your customers can scan um, with either their iPhones or Android phones. Um, so first topic is what is a QR code and what, why do you need this? So basically a QR code is, uh, QR stands for quick response and it's essentially a barcode for cell phones. Um, and really when you think about QR codes, you see them a lot in magazines, newspapers and stuff like that, where they want to take you from the, um, the magazine and, and take you to a digital platform. So they put these QR codes in there and really all it is is a barcode your phone can scan and that will take you to the digital format of whatever they're trying to show you. Um, and so why do you need one? Um, basically, this is one less touch point for your customers and one less surface for your employees to have to sanitize. Um, so basically, it's, with the times we're in now, this is essential um, to keep your customers and your employees safe. Um, this will also help you save money and, and time printing off uh, disposable menus. Um, and what, I really like about this is it'll push traffic towards your social media and or, and or your website um, because it's more important than ever to have a digital presence um, and really communicating your message. Uh, and this is just a great message for you to send to your customers that, hey, we understand you're scared to come dine in, um, but we did this to help you to help you guys feel safe that you're not having to touch a, a paper menu. Uh, so Facebook menu. Hi. Basically, I'm just going to show you how this is done. It's really, really simple. Uh, first thing, you will need a, uh, a Facebook page. You will need a business Facebook page in particular. Um, you'll go to the About section on the left-hand side, and then below that, you'll see Add Menu. And then all you have to do is upload a photo or PDF version of your menu. I suggest you make a high-quality image, not you know, crusted with food and all that stuff. Make sure it's high quality. And, um, and then once it's done, it should notify you that your menu has been posted. So I can show you this real quick. Um, on my, I have a food blog called How to Make Chales. So this is not really a restaurant, but I can use it as an example. So here I am on my uh, food blog, uh, on my Facebook page. And then all you have to do is go to this left-hand side column, scroll down here to menu and click on that. And then you'll go over here and you'll see that I already uploaded one. Um, this is just one of our kind of generic uh, um, edible menus we have on our website. Um, so all you have to do, and I'm just going to click edit, but in your case, if you don't have one already on, you might have to hit the add button. And then you just, from your computer, just select add photos or add PDF and upload it and it's done. Um, so once you do that, and we'll go back to the presentation here. So after you've done that, um, basically what we're gonna do next is create the QR code. And how we do that, again, a very simple process. Um, so I recommend using QR Code Monkey. Um, it's just a website that is really slick, um, makes it super simple for you. So all you have to do is again, go to your menu page and your Facebook page, and you're gonna wanna uh, copy and paste that hyperlink at the top in the end of this so here we are over here, you know, and I'll go back to the home page. So like the home page, scroll down to the menu page, and now all you're gonna do is drag and select this hyperlink right here, um, right click or control C and copy it. 
Okay. And then we're going to go to QR, QR code monkey, which is QR code dash monkey.com. And like I said, it's just a very simple website. So all you have to do um, once it loads is enter your content. So your content being your URL. So we're just going to paste that here. There's the Facebook page. And then from here, you can really customize this. So, um, you know, you can keep it that color. Um, you can add a logo. So I'll, I'll go here. Um, I don't know where I say that, but you can upload a logo or you can just, you know, you can do a Facebook page uh, logo. You can do whatever. And then all you have to do after you, you don't have to do any of the, the customizations. You can just do it generic. Um, once you put that in there, all you have to do is come down here, create QR code, and that's pretty much it. I mean, then you can go on your cell phone or your customers can go on your cell, their cell phones, pull up the camera app, like, like so. Oh, you can see me. <laughs> and then um, scan it. And then it'll ask you if you want to go to that link. And it, I said yes. And then there you go. Oh, there we go. There's the menu. Takes you right there. So all you would have to do is have this QR code in your restaurant, um, outside your restaurant, really anywhere, and uh, your customers can scan it and look at the menu or order off the menu. And then you don't have to worry about having disposable menus. Um, so we already did this part. So and I'll send out this, this deck as well to everybody. So you guys have these hyperlinks and information. Um, you just go to that QR monkey and, um, and I forgot to say too, you can use any hyperlink. So if you have a menu on your website, you're more willing to use that. I mean, really any website you can, you can copy and paste, you can make a QR code for it. It's really simple. Um, and then the last piece, if you want to print this QR code off or put it into a, uh, a QR code template, you'd have to take it, you know, the download the PDF here. Um, and save it to your computer and then put it into the, the, the template. Um, some, some, some ideas, how to present this to customers. You can see this is probably the simple one, really simple, you know, table tent type style. Uh, just print it off, put it into a table tent uh, stand and put it on tables. This customer, um, you know, print it off on a uh, outdoor sign, nice big, and then people walking by could literally scan the code and see what's on the menu. And then this customer took it a little bit step further and got actual metal plates um, fabricated and uh, permanently placed on the tables. So some pretty cool options there. Um, so again, in order to make this really easy for you guys, um, we created a whole bunch of menu templates or QR code menu templates on this website here, um, as well as a bunch of our other menu templates. So I'll take you over to here and you can see we have all of these uh, takeout delivery menus, meal kits, and then right here is the QR code menus. So you just click on that um, and it will take you to the QR codes uh, templates. And we have a couple of different sizes, a couple of different versions. So if you wanted to, you know, make a, a big poster board type one, you can do that through here. Um, and then last, but I mean, really it's, it's, how do you, how does your customer scan it? It's really simple. Open up the uh, photo to the camera app on the phone, hold it up to the, the barcode and it will scan it. And then you just click on the button that says, take me to this wherever and it will take you to the site. Um, so it's really, really simple. It's really slick. Um, and again, this is a way for you to basically eliminate the paper menu or what you're doing now. Um, and do a digital format menu uh, for the time being until we kind of get to a better place. Um, again, this is all about safety, about keeping um, keeping your uh, customers and your employees safe as well as yourself. Um, so uh, last, but certainly not least, so just some other support topics. Uh, here's a website, uh, it's the US Foods Operator's website, uh, US Foods Operator Tips website. Um, that's where I took you to show you the menu templates um, it has a bunch of other information on there, as well as our uh, webinars uh, for this week. Um, if you want to set up a one-on-one -on -one Zoom meeting with our restaurant operation consultant, Laura Crone, um, she can really help you with this kind of stuff or really anything else. Um, or if you want to set up a one-on-one -on -one with me over Zoom, um, you know, discuss this or really anything else, feel free to do so. Um, you don't necessarily have to follow this link. You can, you know, shoot me a text, you know, 
phone call. Uh, whatever you want to do, and we can set that up. Uh, so with that being said, I, I'm all done here. Um, again, just trying to help you guys uh, through this difficult time and making sure uh, you have the safest uh, environment possible. Um, and you know, the day, it's uh, just going back to you a new normal. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to call me, text me, email me. Um, really, whatever you guys need, I'm here for you. And I, I can't wait to get out there and see you guys again here soon. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll, the back half of 2020 here will, will be a lot more, a lot more positive. So uh, see you guys around. Thank you.